two, one. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome to a new edition video of Clear Cryptos. Myself, you may know me as T Hiles from the Crypto Shop. And of course, you know I got my man Jay Seals in the building. What's going on, brother? What's up? How's it going? And much, man. And much. Chilling, chilling, chilling. But you guys, we are here today on Clear Crypto's channel because we believe and have confidence in this project. Damn. <laughs> guys, <laughs> I, I, uh, damn, I can't end it. I can't end it. Edit. Nope. Save changes. Fuck it. We'll just keep going. All right. Welcome, everybody, to, hold on, five, four, three, two, one. What's going on, YouTube? And welcome to an edition. I keep wanting to say the crypto shop. <laughs> 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 you did it so perfectly on the, on the I first know, I know, I know. It's always when the red comes on. It's like, damn. All right. Four, three, two, one. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Clear Cryptos channel. Today on this channel, myself, T. Hobbs. You guys may know me as the Crypto Shop. And of course, you know I got my man, Jay Seals, in the building. What's going on, brother? What's up? How's it going? Today we are streaming live or we are recording live on a clear cryptos channel why because this particular brand is out to produce educational content so that they can bring in the 95 or the 96 percentile that is not in crypto most people know that we are the four percent we are the five percent that are here early however we want to find a way to reach out to that 96 95 percent and i believe Clear Cryptos has figured out a way to do such. One of the things that we've decided to do here at Clear Cryptos is produce content that is strictly educational. It doesn't have to be promoting a token, promoting that token. Today, we are here to provide education. And one topic that myself and Justin have decided to bring to you today is market capitalization. Now, for those of you that know everything about market capitalization, good on you. This video may not be for you. But like I said, I'm here to capture, myself and Justin are here to capture that 96% that may not know what market capitalization is and the importance of it. So without further ado, Jay Seals, educate the people. All right. So we're going to be talking about market capitalization. T Hobbs already got the intro out, segued me perfectly. So <laughs> the first question we got to answer is what is market capitalization, right? So market capitalization refers to the total uh, dollar market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock, commonly referred to as market cap. It's calculated by multiplying the total number of a company's outstanding shares by the current market price of one share. So what does that mean? Because that was a lot of jargon and it's not that hard, right? It's really so not. really what that's trying to say is all you have to do is multiply the current price of the token by the circulating supply and bam, You've got the market cap. <laughs> it's like magic, man. It's like magic. Listen, the reason why this is important is because a lot of traders, a lot of investors that have been in the game for a long time, whether it be with stocks or crypto, they look at market cap as kind of a safety net, right? When you see the larger cryptos in the space, you see the Bitcoins, the Ethereums, the top of the line blue chip tokens. One thing that they have in common is they have large market caps. What's considered a safety net zone for a market cap? Well, that number is usually around 10 billion and above. However, in DeFi, the DeFi space, you will see a lot of market caps that start off well below that 10 billion, meaning they may start off as low as 400,000 or sometimes as high as about 2 million. However, those particular uh, cryptocurrencies, although they may be volatile, they also present an opportunity, a huge opportunity for growth. So the higher the risk, the higher the reward. If there's less risk, you may not receive as much reward, but you will have much more of a cushion with a higher market cap. So. Yeah. And, you know, just just so everybody knows, too, market cap, it shows popularity, right? It shows the popularity of a crypto so the larger the market cap the more popular a crypto is going to be like bitcoin which has one of the largest market caps in crypto why 
because it's popular. Everybody knows Bitcoin. It's one of the most traded uh, cryptos on the market, and it has one of the biggest market caps. And we've got a few ways for you to not have to calculate the market cap, but to be able to look up any market cap that you want to right here on the fly. So we've got CoinGecko. We've got CoinMarketCap. We've got Dex tools. We've got EtherScan. So those are four different ways and also TradingView too. So we have five different ways that we're going to be going over how you can actually find market cap without having to go through and actually multiply it yourself and find out all the information of where the circulating supply is and you know what the price is, which actually isn't that hard to find. But we'll also show you how to do that too, just in case you know you want to know how to do it on your own. All right. So our first and foremost is the most popular, right? The most popular is probably going to be coin market cap. Easy to find. Very, 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 very popular. Everybody knows about coin market cap. If you've been even if you haven't been in DeFi, but if you've been in crypto, you know that this is the place to find tokens. Right. And if you don't, this is coinmarketcap.com. Very, very simple to find. Very, very easy. If you want to find the market cap, you click. You just go right to this column right here. As you can see, the market cap for Bitcoin is four hundred forty four billion. 584 million and six dollars right and 46 whatever it's a very very big very very big number right <laughs> uh bitcoin holds up the entire market of crypto it just does it's the largest market cap within crypto you go a little further and you got 187 billion for ethereum i won't go through all the other numbers because it just gets confusing same thing for coin gecko um i'm gonna go over here to coin gecko i'm gonna go back to home because i was looking up something else earlier but again, very, very simple on CoinGecko. Market cap is $446 billion for Bitcoin. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, why does it vary on different uh, websites? Well, the reason why it varies is because the price varies via each website. The price is always going to vary. Therefore, the market cap is going to vary as well. Because remember, we said market cap is price times circulating supply will give you the market cap. Very, very important that you remember that equation. Now, again, we chose ApeCoin because it's a very popular token. On Dex tools, however, for DeFi projects, most DeFi projects you can find here. You can find some blue chips here as well, but mostly people use Dex, Dex tools for DeFi. Dex tools has it set up pretty easy. They have a swap option here. Uh oh, I didn't want to connect my wallet. Let me go back. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Damn it. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> so they have a swap option here. I'll, I'm pretty sure I can clip that part out. So they have a swap option here, but then they also have pool info. And what you'll do is you'll click this drop down menu here, and you'll see all the information on the particular token that you're looking at. In this particular area, we're talking about market cap. They have it breaking, broken down fairly easy. You can just look at it, and there it is. An additional way is you can click this icon right here for EtherScan, what Justin talked about earlier. You click on EtherScan and it'll take you into the token right here. Now, in here, you'll see a fully diluted market cap. That is not the actual market cap. What this means is all of the tokens within circulating supply and all of the tokens that are not in circulating supply multiplied by the price gives you this particular uh, number. That's not the number you want because that number is not relevant because you can't trade the tokens that aren't in circulating supply. So you don't really look at those as part of the market cap. You look at the circulating supply market cap. And if you just click this, click, click here, it'll keep switching back and forth. And there you go. You'll have circulating supply. So, um, Justin, if you would take us through, where do I go to calculate market cap on my own? So you can go to market cap calculator on coinguides.org backslash market cap calculator. <laughs> and um, then you just pick whatever token that you want to uh, try to find the market cap for. You're going to enter the price. So we chose ApeCoin, which was $6.05. And then you have to find the circulating supply, which uh, I believe we just showed you how to find that on um, what uh, EtherScan, right? EtherScan has it. Mm -hmm. And I'll take them to CoinGecko because I believe that's where we got these numbers here. Okay. So we'll go yep. to so we'll go to CoinGecko. Mm -hmm. 
And then if you go over to circulating supply, which Hobbs is highlighting for us right there. So you just copy and paste the circulating supply and you put it into the calculator and then boom, we got a uh, 1,850,000 or no, 1 billion. Eight hundred fifty-six million five hundred ninety-three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars in market cap. Yep. And last but not least, there is a way to see the entire market cap of crypto, and that is by using um, one. You can see it obviously on Coin Market Cap. It'll tell you the entire uh, the entire market cap right up here. So this is the entire market cap of crypto. I believe Coin Gecko has it as well. If we go back here, yep, right here. So right at the top, you'll see the entire market cap of crypto, which you can see we recently recaptured the one trillion dollar market cap for all of crypto. But also on TradingView, you can actually see a, a much, much better chart. Right. So what you can do is you can go to markets, you go to tradingview.com, you go to markets and all of this is free. It doesn't cost you anything. You go to markets and you scroll down to crypto and right up here in the top right corner, crypto market cap. You click on that and you can actually see the total chart, the movement of crypto. So for all of my chart readers out there, you can kind of follow along on um, TradingView with an actual chart of the actual total market cap of crypto. So that being said, Justin, any last words, good sir? Um, yeah, knowledge is power. We're coming here to bring the knowledge so that you guys have the power. So just stick around with uh, us here at Clear Cryptos and uh, we're hoping to steer everybody on the right path. Awesome, man. And again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this particular video on coin on market cap capitalization. Be on the lookout for more educational videos such as this one. Again, my name is T Hobbs. That guy up there is Jay Seals. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. I actually think that was good. Yes. Yeah. Bye. Now.